What's going on guys? I hope you guys are good. Uh, today I'm going to show you exactly what I eat in a day. And it's just going to be what I eat in a day. So we'll get straight to the point, keep it raw, and just show you guys exactly what I'm having. I'm going to have some porridge. Sav actually makes the porridge. And if I don't tell you that, you should attack me. I claim that I make the porridge. I'm going to put the toppings on though. But disclaimer, Sav normally puts the toppings on. Just so you guys know. Okay, let's start with breakfast. So, I have a pretty comprehensive breakfast, okay? My breakfast is split into three things. I have my oats, and I pack as much nutrition into my oats as possible. You'll see in a second. I then have an egg meal, kind of more of a savory dish. I'll show you in a second. And then I also have a shake, which we pack a ton of nutrition into. Oh, and my morning supplements. So, here is the porridge, we're about to make it much more exciting. Sab, what's in here? Cardamom, um, almond milk, obviously that oats. Cardamom, almond milk, um, and... Gluten-free oats, because I'm celiac. Oh yeah, you should bear that in mind for this whole video, I'm celiac, so everything's gluten-free. Um, and sometimes I add like a tea bag in there. A tea bag? Just chuck a tea bag in the middle? <laughs> it's probably buried in there. No, like you do it in water, right? And then cook them in the water. Yeah, yeah. So I wish you guys could smell this. And these are, are these the and cinnamon, yeah. These are the apple oats as well, right? Apple and so it's like a special type of oat as well. These ones, just gluten free oats, but they're apple and cinnamon flavour. Now I'm gonna show you what I put on the top. We start with some fruit. Today we have strawberries, grapes, and bananas. We've got Dates. We've got pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds. We've got red skin peanuts. Peanut butter. Dark chocolate. And ground cinnamon. Okay, so let's make this look pretty. into this but just remember this is part one I've also had 1.5 liters of water already and some electrolytes right so after my breakfast I'll take my vitamins all in this drawer here with a bunch of other stuff including marbles I take three of these a day Please don't eat marbles because of me. Okay, so we've got all supplements of bulk. Well, most actually, most. We've got my AM supplements and my PM supplements. These are gonna go back in here. Um, oh, also, you see this here? Just a couple of random bits. Um, one apple cider vinegar gummies. Here we've got B12, vitamin C, and a B vitamin complex. You might ask, why are these not just in your pill box with everything else? Because these three are water soluble vitamins. I take my vitamin C and B complex vitamins on an empty stomach with water in the morning because that's how they're best absorbed. Okay, whereas fat soluble vitamins, everything other than vitamin C and B vitamins will, will absorb easier when there's dietary fat involved as well. Vitamin C and B12 should not be taken together. Lots of vitamin C will actually decrease the absorption of the, of the B12. I take these in the morning, vitamin B, B complex, on an empty stomach with water. I take all of these with food after my first meal, and then I'll just take the B12 with water at some point in the day, maybe after the gym or something, because I've got an empty stomach then. Okay, so I longed that out a little bit, but I thought maybe it would be important to point out. So in here, as you can see, I've got two days left. So every five days, I just pull out all my vitamins and top them up. It looks like a lot, but no, it's a lot. It is, it is a lot. <laughs> uh, okay, so in here we've got omega-3, 
we've got multivitamin, we've got magnesium, we've got iron, we've got garlic extract, we've got joint support, we've got ashwagandha, we've got uh, red yeast rice extract, we've got a whole bunch of stuff, but I will put in the description a list of exactly what I'm taking. So, I normally take this in two mouthfuls, which is still quite a lot. Top tip, so you can take a lot and don't choke. So basically, put the vitamins, this is really random, but someone asked me about this before. Put the bunch of vitamins in your mouth and just like keep them like on your tongue, in your mouth, not in your throat. And then as you're drinking, just let the water run past and like fill up at the back of your throat and then like pass some of the <laughs> pass some of the vitamins of your tongue to the back and then just keep drinking. Hopefully that makes sense. And that's that way. We shouldn't choke. Let's go straight back in here. And obviously we'll do the PM vitamins later as well. But now I'm gonna do chill for 30 minutes and then we're gonna make the next meal. Or shake, or maybe I have my shake now. Okay, I can't bother to adjust my camera so I'm basically doing the splits in the moment just to be in shot. <laughs> but part two of breakfast is the shake. Everything here, you can't really see it, but I'm gonna talk you through it, is going in my shake. Let's do it. Again, most of these products are from Bulk. I'll put a link in the description to get some of this stuff. Um, right, we are going to start with a little bit of soy milk, just otherwise frozen berries stick to the bottom. We've got some frozen cherries, a whole bunch of frozen blueberries. Then we're gonna go in with Spinach. If you don't like spinach and you want to get your greens, stick them in a shake with frozen berries because you can barely taste it. Just gonna pack these in. Oh shit, got over. Then we're gonna go in with some fat-free yogurt. A little bit of protein, adds a bit of a bit of a creamier flavour, helps with the texture. Whey protein, obviously. I've been using whey isolate. This is from bulk. I'm just using vanilla flavour. I get vanilla because I use it in my shake, so it doesn't like the flavour doesn't overpower everything else. Okay, then for me, we're going on. We're going for psyllium husk from bulk. Trying to get more fiber in. It's a very easy way to do so. And then we've got complete greens. The serving size is three and a half, but we've got all that spinach in, so I'm only gonna do two. Because let's be honest, greens harder just doesn't taste good. Um, I'm using an inositol. These kind of shakes and smoothies and things, you can really adapt them to your individual needs. Acai berry powder, acai, acai. I don't know how you say it, to be honest. One of those. We've got some matcha green tea powder. And again, this is just what I'm taking. Um, maybe I'll do the same. I mean, this is a good shake and it tastes good. Last but not least, Coenzyme Q10. Yeah, this is a good shake. I mean, everyone would benefit from this. Almost and everyone, unless you have some like a, some sort of disorder or condition. This is the tiniest spoon. Right, I'm gonna whip that up. Messed up my fingers. I've actually got plasters. Oh, that was completely un. <laughs> I've got plasters on my middle fingers. I did um, a casting yesterday, and I had to do some rope climbs. And I haven't done rope climbs properly ever, actually, but in a long time. I just ripped the skin off of two of my fingers. 
Yeah, so then we're gonna top this up with soy milk and then whiz that up. <laughs> As a perfect measure. Grab yourself a metal straw. We don't do plastic straws. Save the turtles. They point out as well, because I know some of you are going to comment saying, well, we have plastic water bottle. This water bottle, I buy, I buy one of these when I lose this. So I buy, I buy this and I just fill this up with water from my tap and I use it for weeks. I'm going to drink this and we'll see you at breakfast part three. It's been about 30 minutes. Picked up some gluten free bread this morning, some eggs, smashed avocado. This one looks a bit dead, but hopefully it's better inside. With some lemon, squeeze a lemon, and chili flakes on the top. This is a win combination. We have an array of beautiful tomatoes. Sometimes I do mushrooms as well. Sometimes I um, mince garlic, and I put garlic on my toast under the avocado. I just can't bother to do that today, if I'm honest. This will in fact be my pre-workout meal. Um, normally I like to train late morning and then again, I've got a few different types of training at the moment. Um, I won't go into that because obviously this is about my food, but um, yeah, this is gonna be my pre-workout meal. If you wanna see my full training schedule, let me know in the comments because it's changed. It's not changed, but there's, it's added a lot to it. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna eat this. If you've watched up to this point and you're enjoying it so far, can you please tap the thumbs up button? button? It really helps me and it helps my videos be pushed out to more people. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Look at my, so I've got greens on here and now it looks like I've got a moldy plastered finger. I'm gonna eat this and then we'll start getting ready for the gym. You're naked from the waist down, aren't you? Yeah. Luckily the gun's covering that. <laughs> Literally covering. It's time for the gym. Actually, so we're going to do, um, I'm not doing pre-workout at the moment. I'm just trying to do a little bit of a caffeine detox. So we've got, beat it. We're gonna do 500 milliliters of beetroot juice. I'm gonna drink this now. Then we're gonna make the intro workout, which is highly branched cyclic dextrin. Excuse me for that. This is a really fast acting carbohydrate. We've got EAAs, creatine. So creatine, you can take it at any point in the day. It doesn't really matter, as long as you take it every day. I take it in my intro workout just because that way I remember to take it. That's it. We'll do, we'll do a tiny little, tiny, tiny, tiny gym section if you fancy it, like 20 seconds max. Salted caramel whey isolate from bulk. It's one of my favorite flavors. Just to make it a little bit more interesting, we're gonna chuck in a banana. We want those carbs as soon as we're done as well. And a few dates. We're gonna mix it with almond milk. And this is just gonna tie me over 
until the next meal. Um, Sav's actually making something really good. Mm, I am. Sav doesn't actually make all the meals. No, you sometimes cook too. Yeah, I, I do cook as well, so maybe I should cook one in this video. It just happens to be a busy day for me and Sav's cooking a little bit more. I've just decided as well, quickly, I'm going to have two gluten-free crumpets with a little bit of jam. so good. It's a chicken and mushroom risotto that Sav made. It's not just chicken and mushroom, it's porcini. Porcini. Mushroom. Mushroom. Fancy mushroom and chicken risotto. Um, but yeah, so what's the ingredients in here, Um, The aromia rice, if that's how it's pronounced, I could completely just ruin that. Um, then uh, normal mushrooms, then I also added porcini mushrooms, then porcini mushroom stock, and then a little bit of parmesan and a bit of white wine and that's it and some salt i might actually put the recipe in the description if Sam wants to make one you just make it if, a, I, wanna, if I, I want to share it maybe it's a secret recipe maybe it's a secret recipe anyway we're going to tuck into this is there more of this yeah good i made a huge load by the way i'm not sponsored by sam's risotto i actually do just really like it yeah, he should be, really. <laughs> right, this right here is going to be my last proper meal of the day. I am going to eat some more, but this is my last like proper meal. This is a quinoa salad. So we've got quinoa, we've got tuna, we've got a ton of spinach, tomato, avocado, pumpkin seeds, little drizzle of olive oil, little drizzle of balsamic vinegar. Mm -mm -mm. Okay guys, it's gonna be the last thing I eat today and it's gonna be some low-fat yogurt. I'm gonna put a scoop of vanilla whey isolate protein in. I'm gonna add some walnuts and a little bit of honey for that. And we're also gonna have, we're also gonna have two apples. I'm gonna dip that in a little bit of peanut butter. But that's gonna be it. So I really hope you guys found this video useful and got something out of it. And thank you for your support. Please go and tap that little thumbs up button and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out all of my other social media platforms in the description. I'll put as much detail about the foods and the vitamins and everything from today in the description. And if there's anything else you guys wanna see, just leave it in a comment down below. But thank you so much for watching and supporting. I really appreciate you guys and I will see you in the next video.